I got to ask about this because obviously them Sacramento teams was crazy. When y'all like heard or caught wind that the shit was real with the Tim Donahue stuff, like how was that reaction amongst y'all? Cause That's like, it. We knew that before he came out. Damn. It was, I mean, it's a funny situation because Chucky Brown, you know, Chucky Brown's 14 seasons. He, I'm, I'm, I'm in my, I'm in my fourth and I'm talking cash shit in LA. So like the Maloo's the best owners ever. Like they put you at movie premieres, they put you at these, they put you at this, and in order to be seen and stuff. So I was at movie premieres on the red carpet talking shit. Shit's over with, ain't nothing they could do. And then like, ain't nothing they can't stop us on the radio talking shit. So I mean, Chucky Brown put me so they might, you know, if they bring in a certain crew, it's gonna go a certain way. I was like, man, bullshit, man. It's the NBA. Ain't no way. Even we're up 20 points every game, man. Ain't nothing. Even if they do, ain't could stop. Right. And so just watching that, man, just seeing it looking back now, that shit makes me sick, man. Cause I think we could that could have been our championship. I think it was. You For know? damn sure. And so going and playing New Jersey, they swept New Jersey. I think we beat the shit out of New Jersey that year too. I think we beat by 50, I think, one time going to New Jersey. Um, but it was just, I mean, just sad to see. I mean, we, we had that, we kind of shit the bad game seven, but I really don't think it should have got to game seven. No, I shouldn't have. So, like you right. said, when you look back, especially the team y'all had was so crazy. And then for that to come out and then for them, like to, after it comes out, y'all know, and it's publicized, but then for people like to romanticize about it, it's just like, that's so crazy that like, especially like y'all work so hard for moments and play our ass off to be in them situations. We know how many things have to fall in the line perfectly to win the championship but like mm -hmm. to play your ass off and to have that's just like yeah that, what the that, fuck that still makes me sick man like there's even like robert horry shot like like i watched the highlights still watch the shit and i'll cut it off before that before that going mm -hmm. i remember that shit like it was yesterday watching that motherfucker boom walking think, in the locker room damn we gotta go one more that broke everybody hard man i think the whole world was pulling for y'all they, yeah. they were getting they had our champagne already out in the, in the locker room shit. They, had to put, they had to put all that shit back Damn. Damn. I that know was I was time. for y'all. Niggas just had a moment of silence. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm sitting here thinking about it. We was all there, bro. Because I'm thinking about the champagne. <laughs> I'm sorry, bro. That was... <laughs> I'm that thinking was, about remember watching that, bro. That was pivotal, bro. Yeah, yeah I'm thinking was... about the champagne. I'm like, yeah, I remember when we won. We had that champagne. Like, Damn, that's fucked up. Yeah, thing. you got you one. That's all that, that's all that matters. You get to go home and take one home, man. That's what, that's what it's about, really. You could say... Not many people say they won NBA championship. No, man. for real, for real. Congratulations on that. Oh. Al finally got him one. I was so much like fire. So mm -hmm. it's good, man. Y'all deserve it, man. Man, I appreciate it. For sure. I got to ask, man. What was your favorite city that you played in? Favorite what? Favorite city. I like playing home, man. I like being in Phoenix just because I get to see my family. I get to stay at home. Um, I always love coming back home. I have 50 people at the game, yeah. mm -hmm. 100 people at the game. You know what I mean? Just going and just playing in front of your family and friends. It's, I love coming back home. Yeah. He he was in some fire cities, though. Like, Hell when yeah. you leave Sacramento, you come to Atlanta. And what's that like? Because that first year y'all in Atlanta, well, maybe your second year, whatever year y'all played, the Celtics in the playoffs. That was the first year, I think. Yeah, y'all got it cracking. It was, I mean, it was different because, like I said, no one really, I don't think, me and Joe were the only two people that ever been in playoffs. Yep. And so for to come there and have the city on fire like that mm -hmm. and take them to seven, I mean, we got our ass beat every time in Boston, but I mean, we we had that shit on fire in, in Atlanta. It was just, and I think it had to do, I'm not saying it was all me, but I think it had to do with a lot of just bringing the guys together mm -hmm. and just hanging out and just, you know, trusting people and, and shit like that. So, I mean, just being in a city like that and putting that on fire, it was, it was fun, man. Yeah, because I came the next year and the buzz was still there when I got drafted. It was like... Zaza had the uh, the fight video with KG. <laughs> shit, it was just like a Zaza buzz. Sure. Yeah, he yeah, had the Rocky, him, yeah. had the Rocky stuff going. Yeah. It was just like a buzz in the city, and I was like, "See, you got to see it. You didn't get to see it when it was really bad because it used to be really bad. Then, nah, like ten get... years before they made the playoffs. Yeah, I only seen the good. Yeah, <laughs> so. yeah that was poor. When Steven yeah. Jackson was there. It was <laughs> wicked. <laughs> <laughs> it was wicked. You wanted <laughs> wicked. I only seen the orange jerseys. The yeah, they was nasty. Yeah, I only seen the good. So, but when I got there, Bibby and them, they was it was rolling. So yeah. I came into a winning team. So were you there with Flip? Nah, I wasn't there. But you, uh, you probably don't remember. He had just left, and so 
you know how smooth is. He like, you took AC Law spot and you took flip spot. And I'm like, I, I don't even know who they are. I'm like, okay. But AC was young. Oh, I think it was like AC like second year. Yeah, I'm I mean, like, all right. He's like, you took their spot. They going to be at you because we played them in the preseason. Mm. And flip made me fall. <laughs> Flip was cold, motherfucker, man. He, oh, he made a lot of people fall. Nah, he hit me with a snatch back, and I fell. I looked at the bench. Joe Smith was like this. I looked at Ben. Ben looking the other way. That's, that's, why, that's why you can't play defense that, that hard, man. You got to lay why, back a little bit. That's why I got that's that, that shit sad ass shit. <laughs> Contest the shot. He, st he made me. Uh, so, Ben, uh, Josh, stand up. <laughs> Pointing at me, I'm like, ah, oh, this that's a crazy motherfucker. I like the story that you told about um, um, his shooting threes too. He he, ain't, he wasn't lying about that. <laughs> that motherfucker used to boost smooth in there when you shoot that. <laughs> so he's like, no, and he turned around like, fuck him. <laughs> I'm like, smooth, chill out. Like, I'm chill, you can. It's the home fans. <laughs> you can't do that. Because that's the home fans. Yeah, like you know, yeah, he would just shoot it just because to show them. Shut the fuck up. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's the way smooth it was. So you remember the bet you made with him? Mm-mm. You man, you don't remember shit. I, <laughs> know. I know you gotta break it up. You bet him like maybe like five or ten thousand dollars that he uh he can shoot, he couldn't shoot more than ten threes that year. And he would shoot all <laughs> right right in front of the three point line. Yeah. <laughs> but he had a, it was like his best year, y'all he should have made the all-star team. It might it was yeah, my I first year. And he would not that. shoot threes. He was just pump fake, take a step in, and he was making them. And you was like, he would not shoot. He's like, Bibby, I did, that one the three. That one the three. I was like, damn, but it worked. I'm like, damn, Bibby really playing like mine. He figured, like, he figured smooth out. Like, Man, he's the most athletic player I play with and, and that I've seen playing. That motherfucker would do whatever he want if he get in the open court. Yeah. Yeah. That's why I try to just you try to get get him in the open court to give him the ball to where he doesn't he's not standing and spotting up. He was a monster in, uh, in the in the in the open court, man. He was one of the smartest play players I played with. He taught never forget, he told me. Hey, you want to shoot the ball team? I was like, yeah. He's like, when you get in, just go stand right next to Joe. <laughs> and I was like, why? He's like, they're going to double team. They're going to pass it to you. Yeah. And you're going to be wild. <laughs> he said, it worked every time. Bro, I was on a bitch crying. <laughs> Joe like, cut through, smooth. Smooth like, go ahead. Yeah. Out. Smooth should smooth get in the way so he gets a shot. Smooth know what he's doing. Yeah, he was smart. <laughs> so smooth crazy. Were yeah. you there? You were there when we used to play that game after uh, during – practice. Yeah, the shooting game. No, where you shoot. Oh, uh, tip then, game. Yeah. <laughs> we used to have this fucked up game. Remember, Larry yeah. Drew got pissed. We yeah. used to have this game, right? So, like, it was like $500. So, if it, if it touched three hands, you owe $1,500 yeah. to the person that Yo, a thousand to Jeff and five hundred to me. So, oh. like, it, so we'd be running the play. Y'all, you run, you run the offense. Boom, boom. Someone shoots a jumper. They start tipping. Them motherfuckers, them motherfuckers would start sprinting at you. So, like, <laughs> if it miss, I'll tip it to Jeff. Jeff tip it back to me, and I'd make it. You owe me a thousand. You owe him five hundred. So Damn. we this were shooting is, that like during we like running plays. This is so like fucking practice, bro. <laughs> That's why I say I can't take shit serious. <laughs> like I mean, every every shot mother was shooting and just take off full, full speed, speed and just fuck Fire. the person up <laughs> to where they can't tip it. So once the ball hits the ground, it's over with. So remember, LD was like, "Man, do that shit after the, after yeah, practice." Yeah. <laughs> so we so like after practice would be like five or six of us. We get we shoot five shots. You can't move until you make the three. Mm -hmm. So if you make if you make off five, you don't owe no money. But if you if you miss and you fuck them up and they don't make it or they make it, you gotta you gotta owe them the money, man. They start doing that shit for anything though. Like one fucker just be shooting by itself, come out of nowhere. <laughs> what, no tip? You owe me fifteen hundred. You like, oh, no. I, I wouldn't even shoot a jumper in practice. I was like, yeah, no, no. My like he, he don't count. He don't count. I was like, thank you, bro. Was like, Please, bro. They was crazy as hell. They're playing tips. Yeah, playing that's practice. crazy. Serious as hell. This is in the playoffs, all type of shit. And we have fun. You gotta have fun, man. We have fun out there.